What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Today's design is this Santa sleigh design where the canvas size is 2000 by 2000. There's a link down below in the description to the palette as well as the stamp that you're going to need here for Santa. If you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. So if you'd like some tutorials to follow along with, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. And if you can't get enough Joel Create tutorials, there's a link down below to my Patreon where you can get access to even more tutorials every single month. I'll throw up the latest three on the screen now. And with all that said, let's get started. So once you've created your canvas, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is if we go up to our layers, We've got a background color, we're gonna go ahead and tap on that and we're gonna see the colors in our palette. So we've got these four colors and we're gonna use this dark navy color here. Once we tap away from there, we're gonna go back to our layers and we're gonna make sure we're on the empty layer. We're gonna go up to our colors. We're gonna double tap in the top left to select white or I'll put it in the palette down here. We're gonna to go to our brush library and under calligraphy, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we're using the monoline brush. It doesn't matter what your brush size is for this. And we're going to start off by drawing our moon in the distance here. So we're going to go ahead and draw a circle and hold your pen at the end and pop your finger on the screen. You get a nice perfect circle. And you're going to want to make something roughly around about this sort of size. It looks pretty good. And then drag and drop white into that space. And then if we grab our cursor, we make sure snapping is turned on down here in the bottom left hand corner. We're then going to want to go ahead and just position that nicely in the center, but not in the middle as such. So it's horizontal, just making sure it's nice and vertically in the middle of our canvas. So something sort of here looks pretty good to me. Tap on your cutter when you're done and then zooming out. We've got the first part in and go ahead now and let's create the glows in behind there. So let's go to our layers. Let's create a new layer, drag it underneath our moon. Then we're going to go up to our colors. We're going to grab this color here so the third column along the only color in it we're going to go to our brush library we're going to go to airbrushing and we're going to go to the soft brush and then with our brush size set to say roughly around about 25 30 percent we're going to simply tap in the middle of the screen to get an orb and then grab your cursor and scale that up until you've made it roughly sort of good full width of the sky there but you want to make sure you're running first of all vertically down the center but also horizontally through the actual moon there as well and then tap on your cursor when you're done next thing we're going to go ahead and do is create some sweeping lines in the sky there so we're going to go to our colors and select this color here the third color along but fourth column we're then going to go to our layers and create a new layer we're going to go ahead and switch our brush back to the monoline so we're going to go to our brush library and calligraphy and the monoline brush and we're going to create some swooping lines and i'm going to start roughly here i'm going to create a swooping line across the screen and then i'm going to do the same but it will fan out as it gets to the end here so it gets a little bit bigger and then once we create that first one we can drag and drop our color in so you can see it on the screen and then we're going to create two one above and one below so we're going to start at sort of the same point and then fan them out as they get towards the end as well drag and drop your color in and let's do one more underneath and then create that under there and then drag and drop our color in like so. She should end up with three lines like that. We're then gonna go ahead and we're gonna tap on that layer. We're gonna go all the way down to overlay and we're gonna reduce this all the way down to about 5%. It's just meant to be a nice little bit of space there in the background. Now let's go ahead and affect the moon. So let's go up to our layers. Now we've got our moon up here. Let's swipe it to the left and duplicate it. The bottom one out of the two, we're gonna change its layer option to add. And we're going to reduce the opacity down to about 80 percent we're then going to go up to our adjustments we're going to go to gaussian blur and you'll see a percentage bar at the top there you want to swipe from left to right until you add a glow that's slightly bigger than what it is so roughly around about 20 percent looks pretty good and then tap on your adjustments when you're done and now we've got a big glow in there next let's go ahead and add some stars so let's create a new layer let's drag it underneath our moon glow so it doesn't interfere there let's change our color out to white so i'll put it in the palette here and then i'm going to go to our brush library we are going to use the stipple collection i'm going to use the light one and we're going to vary our brush size between three different sort of sizes roughly around about 70 80 percent to create some nice big stars in the background and you can see i'm primarily focusing on this sort of top two thirds we're not too interested down here so something like that with the big stars Reduce your brush size down to about 40% and then tap away in the gaps. 
This will give you some smaller stars in here. And then reduce your brush size one more time down to about say 15% and then tap away adding in some smaller stars and focus your efforts towards the center really. We kind of, as an illustration anyway, we wanna sort of let it blend out towards the outside. So we're just focusing our stars around our moon here, like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our Santa's sleigh. So we're gonna to go up to our colors. We're gonna select this color here in the first column. We're gonna go up to our brush library. And if you've installed the brush in the description down below, you will have this Santa stamp here where my brush size is set to about 51%. Then we're gonna go up to our layers. We're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna drag it above the moon. And then we're gonna simply tap in the middle of the screen and then we're gonna grab that and make sure it's perfectly in the center. Make sure we hit that orange line. And what you also wanna do is make sure you're running directly through the moon itself. So you can see there's a blue line there going through Santa horizontally, which lets us know it runs perfectly horizontal through the moon. We're then gonna create the trail off of Santa. So we're gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Then the bottom one out of the two, we're gonna tap on it, we're gonna alpha lock it. We're then gonna go up to our colors. We're then gonna select this color here, the third color, so in the fourth column. We're then gonna go back to our layers, we're gonna tap on that layer and we're gonna use the option of fill. We're then gonna tap on that layer and turn off the alpha lock. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blur it out using the motion blur. So we're gonna to go up to our adjustments, we're gonna to go to motion blur and swiping in the direction we want, which is kind of in that sort of upward horizontal line. We're just gonna blend that all the way out until you get the line go all the way across your screen from left to right. And then tap on your adjustments when you're done. We're then gonna go ahead and grab our eraser. We're gonna tap on our eraser and we're gonna make sure under airbrushing, we're using the soft brush. And then we're gonna go ahead. It doesn't matter what your brush size is. I'm just gonna blend out that edge. And then as I get close to Rudolph at the top here, I'm gonna leave a bit of a glow around him just so there's a little bit coming off of the front area as well. What we're then gonna do is we're then gonna to go to our adjustments. We're gonna to go to liquify and we're gonna tap on our options down here and we're gonna use the option of push. And these are the settings you're gonna to wanna to match at the bottom here. Potentially you could reduce your brush size to about 30%. And all we're gonna to wanna to do is very lightly just push them up and down as we go all the way across. And then as we get to this left hand side here, what I wanna do is just pinch the lines together. So they sort of feather out or point out at the end. So they're nice and big coming off the sleigh, but then they just nicely sort of taper out towards the end there. So I'm just pushing them together at the point at the very end. And if you want to, you can maybe just wiggle this up and down all the way through just to add some extra movement. But something like that's pretty good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on our adjustments because we're done. But we're gonna add some extra lighting to that. So we're gonna go up to our layers we're gonna swipe on it to the left and duplicate it. And then the top one, we're gonna tap on our layer options on the end and change it to add. We're then gonna to go up to our adjustments. We're gonna to go to Gaussian blur and we're gonna swipe from left to right until we end up hitting something roughly around about 15%, looks pretty good. And then tap on your adjustments when you're done. And that will give that a nice strong glow. We're then gonna go up to our layers and let's go to our Santa stamp. We're gonna create a new layer above it and we're gonna tap on that layer and we're gonna clipping mask it. When we go to Santa, we're gonna tap on Santa, we're gonna tap on it again, and we're gonna use the option of select. Now, very important, you're gonna to wanna to make sure color fill down here is turned off. And then we're gonna invert the selection. Now, what we've done is we've selected Santa and then we've selected invert, which is now selected everything but that stamp. Meaning, if we go back to our layers and we go to the clip layer that we just made, and we drag and drop our color in, you won't see any visual change, but if we check out our layers, you can see that that layer is now completely filled in with everything except for Santa. Now, if we tap on our selection, because we're done, and we go to our adjustments, we go to Gaussian Blur, and we swipe from left to right, you'll see now that our stamp here will end up getting a bit of a glow come into it. And that's just so we can sort of blend it in a little bit more to its environment. And you can add as much or as little as you like until you're happy with sort of the lighting and how it is affecting each item. So I've gone for 5% there, nothing too drastic. And then if we tap on our adjustments when we're done, we can see like the legs here, for example, have now got a nice sort of shade of blue over them. We're then gonna go ahead and go up to our layers. Let's create a new layer. Now we're just gonna use this color for a moment. We're gonna go to our brush library. We're gonna switch it back to calligraphy and the monoline brush. 
and I'm going to tap away and we're going to create two banked areas down here at the bottom. Now for this we're going to go from edge to edge so you can see I'm zooming out a little bit and we want to come up roughly around about maybe a quarter up of the screen if not slightly more and then we're just going to create a big arc like that and you can hold your pen down if you want to to get a nice perfect arc but something like that looks pretty good and then you're going to head drag and drop your color in like that and then we're going to go up to our colors and we're going to select this color here on the left hand side and we're going to drag and drop that into the space and then just to make life a bit easier we're going to go to our layers we're going to swipe on our hill to the left and duplicate it we're going to grab the bottom one we're going to grab our cursor we're going to flip it horizontally and then that will give us our shape and we're going to leave it there like that for a minute we're now going to go ahead and add in some color here so we're going to go to our layers now if you are limited on layers i suggest you tap on the layer and alpha lock it meaning you paint within the boundaries of it but i'm going to create a new layer and tap on it and clipping mask it that way i can change the layer if i want to a later date if we go back to our colors and we're going to grab this blue here the third color along we're going to go back to our brush library we're going to go to airbrushing and we're going to use the soft brush and then we're going to go ahead and my brush size is set to about 25 percent maybe 20 would be better and in a circular motion towards the center here so basically where this moon's coming all the way down we're just going to start splashing on some color on this hillside and then blend that all the way up and down the hill but leave the edges both bottom and top of the hill so that you can just fade that hill out on either side into the background color then grab your colors again and let's switch it out to this white here and then reduce your brush size down to about 10 percent and then just where the moon's coming down mainly towards the center here just paint in some brighter highlight area just there in the center and that will keep your eye nice and focused on the center of the piece we're then going to go ahead and grab our layers again and we're going to go to the hillside that's in the back so this one here we're going to create a new layer tap on that layer and clip and mask it and basically repeat the same steps so we're going to go to our colors we're going to grab this blue here the third color along i'm going to increase my brush size back up to about 20 percent and then primarily towards the middle i'm just going to sort of go backwards and forwards left to right just sort of adding in some color on that hill making sure again just to leave the edge nice and sort of faded out completely so that again it blends into the background there so we've added a little splash of color there let's switch our color out to white and reduce the brush size back down to about 10 percent and then again primarily towards the middle just stroke the top edge there of that hillside adding in a nice little white touch there where the moon is shining primarily straight down onto the hillside now just make sure your levels here match up so I could go back to my top layer here for the top hill and just add in a little bit more white just here to match up to the other hill in the background there. And then the final nice little step to add in is a little snowman looking up at Santa. So we're going to go to our layers and create a new layer. We're going to go to our colors. We're going to select the background dark navy color. We're going to go to our brush library. We're going to go to calligraphy and we're going to use the monoline brush. And we're going to simply just draw a circle down here like so hold your pen at the end to get a nice perfect circle and pop your finger on the screen and you want to go create your first sort of snowball roughly around about that sort of size and then drag and drop your color in grab your cursor and let's just position it roughly where we need it so something roughly here looks pretty good to me tap on your cursor when you're done we're then going to go to our layers let's swipe on it to the left hand side and duplicate it we're then going to grab our cursor, making sure we've got uniform selected. We're just going to scale this down so we can make a smaller circle and then move it up. So that's the second one. And then tap on your cursor when you're done. Let's then go to our layer again and swipe on it to the left and duplicate it. And then the top one, grab your cursor. With the uniform still selected, scale that down one more time to create the head of the snowman and then just position that like so. Tap on your cursor when you're done. And then we're going to go to our layers we're going to create a, another new layer and we're going to drag it underneath all three of our snowballs there tap on it if it clips to the hillside and turn off the clipping mask it should not be clipped and then with your brush still set to the monoline brush we're going to reduce it all the way down to about one or two percent and we're just going to draw in some arms and they can just be sort of wiggly lines with three sort of branch sticks out on either side and then another one here and then just creating those branches out on either side 
Now we're going to add in a little bit of shading on our snowman. So let's go back up to our layers. We've got the bottom snowball. If I turn it on and off, you can see that there. Again, you can alpha lock the layer if you want to, or you can tap on that layer and create a new layer and clipping mask it. So if we go to our brush library, let's go to airbrushing and use the soft brush still. We're going to go to our colors. We're going to switch it out to the second color in the palette, the third column along. And we're going to reduce the brush size down to a very small sort of size. I'm going to reduce it down to about 2%, I think, here. And then where the moon is coming, we're just going to wrap some color around that left hand side. So I'm going to increase my brush size back up to about 3%, and then just very lightly bring that color around on the left hand side. You can see I'm sort of curving my brush a little bit, and then adding a little bit around here too on the right hand edge. This just needs to be really subtle. And then where the snowball on top sits, it would cast a shadow, which is this darker area here. So that's really all we want to go ahead and do for our snowman and then maybe brighten it up on the left hand edge a little bit more. Let's then go up to our layers and let's repeat the process. So let's go to the next snowball up, the middle one, create a new layer, tap on that layer and clipping mask it, go back to our snowballs and then let's just create the body highlight as well. And quite literally repeating that exact same process. So the left hand side a little bit brighter and curving it and then the right hand side just add a little bit as it just sort of wraps around the body. And then let's finally go up to the top layer of our snowman, create a new layer, tap on it and clipping mask it. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add in the same sort of curvature, except we can maybe spread that out a little bit more across the body now, because we've not got a casted shadow from anything above it. So just blend that left hand side out, a little bit on the right hand side, Looks pretty good. And then we've got our snowman there. And then we are going to go ahead and on the sticks for the arms, we can go ahead and alpha lock this layer. It's only a small layer, so we can tap on it and use the option of alpha lock. And then I'm going to make my brush size a bit bigger, about 5%. And I'm just going to sort of, where the moon is, just sort of add some color outside and just hope some of it lands on the branches. So not specifically spending too much time going into the branches themselves but just so that there's a little bit of moonlight just sort of touching on the branches there. And then the final step to add our snowman into the actual scene is create a little shadow casted off of the moon. So let's go back to our layers. Let's go ahead and create a new layer above our arms. We can leave it there, that's fine. We're then gonna to go to our colors and grab the dark navy background color. And my brush size is set to still about 5%. We're just gonna create a sort of casted shadow around the base of our snowman. So I'm darkening that up and then just trailing that off in the direction of the moon. Now, depending on how much blue you've added here, this will come off a lot more prominent, but if you kept it kind of subtle like I have, the shadow will also be subtle. So you can if you want to, and then where you've got the glow for that hillside, you could potentially, for example, grab your cursor and you could scale that up using the uniform option. You could then just position that sort of back where it was in the center where the moonlight is, and you should be able to see a bit more of a shadow now from our snowman and then I'm just popping that back in the center make sure we get that orange line running down the middle and also making sure the edges are now still nice and faded out and if they're not you can go ahead and grab your eraser tap on it and use the soft brush still and then just fade out that edge you could increase your brush size a little bit more and just fade out that blue down in that corner and likewise up there as well should it apply to you and if I pinch with two fingers and go full screen with four we end up with today's finished design so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did, drop a like down below, helps the channel out an awful lot. If you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week, so hit that subscribe button down below. And if you can't get enough Joel Create tutorials, there's a link down below to my Patreon. Shout out to all my patrons, I'll throw them up on the screen now. If you want to get access to even more tutorials every single month, as well as sneak peeks and extra benefits on my Discord server, hit the link down below. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I'm using, the Sketchboard Pro, the pen tips, grip and glove, as well as the Paperlite screen cover, there's links down below to every to all my equipment list. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.